Yeah, I think we're privileged um, uh, in, uh, in our market position, uh, in our leadership, uh, providing the, the, the chips and the technology to these multiple uh, devices. And yeah, we have a very good view on how things are moving forward. Um, on the virtual reality side, we expect devices to become smaller with the ad advent of micro displays, uh, with the advent of things called pancake lenses that will make the devices smaller. Additionally, um, we actually have an European um, uh, startup working on something called mixed reality, the idea of having color cameras that can capture the real world and pass that to the display. So I think um, that's how we see uh, the virtual reality roadmap evolving, and uh, I expect a lot of progress still in 2022. Smaller devices, this kind of mixed, mixed reality functionality. When it comes to um, augmented reality glasses, I think that, that there are kind of two tracks in augmented reality. There is the more, like Omar was saying, you know, Microsoft is doing a great job with the HoloLens, more of an enterprise, you know, bigger form factor. Um, and, um, um, you know, very rich experiences all in one, and that's going to continue. Now, uh, what I expect to have even more progress, even more excitement, is the evolution of those glasses that you mentioned, mm -hmm. where you have a, a light glass that connect uh, to a phone. Mm -hmm. This year, uh, cabled, but going wireless, um, uh, potentially, you know, even even uh, later this year. Uh I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy.